Malawi is facing a number of challenges. The transport system is still undeveloped. These constraints have resulted in the cost of transportation increasing the cost of production and making goods not only from Malawi but the whole of the Sadiq sub-region uncompetitive on the international market. As a result, economic growth has been affected. <laughs> However, a window of opportunity has opened to cut the transport costs, create doors of business growth, and make the products from Malawi competitive. Vale, a Brazilian company, is constructing a railway line that will resuscitate Malawi's connectivity to the sea and further afield. Speaking when she launched the project at Neno, President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Joyce Panda, said this country stands to benefit from the railway project in many ways. The construction itself represents a one billion investment in Malawi over three years. The project is expected to employ about 3,500 workers at its peak, of which 70% will be Malawians. That is over 3,000 new jobs. The project entails the construction of a railway line through Chapananga in Chikwawa to Nkaya in Balaka, a distance of 138.5 kilometers, and rehabilitation of the existing railway line from Nkaya to Nayuchi, a distance of 98.6 kilometers in Malawi. Thus, the railway line will pass through Chapananga in Chikwawa, Ntache and Kantoku in Mwanza, Simon and Mlauli in Neno, and Nsamara in Balaka. Passenger stations will be constructed at Chapananga, Neno, Nkaya Junction, Liwonde and Nayuchi, and there will also be a number of stops at appropriate places. According to Transport Minister Sidiq Mia, the construction works have already commenced and are expected to be completed by 2014. This is one single largest transport project Malawi has yet witnessed in recent years. Once completed, it is expected that Malawi, by using this route, will be saving in excess 120 million US dollars annually in transportation costs. This has the overall effect of reducing the transport costs of goods to and from Malawi by about 40%. Mia added that government is also expected to earn over 8 million dollars annually through concession fees and other levies. Malawi will earn revenue from the project for the next 30 years. The project will create employment to a lot of Malawians. The project will invest about 1 billion US dollars in Malawi over a period of three years for the construction and rehabilitation of the railway line and it is expected to employ about 4,500 workers of which 70% will be Malawians. 
The concession agreement provides up to 20% participation of local private sector and government, which provides wealth creation avenues through business and employment. Not only that, there will be overall efficiency in the handling of Malawi cargo, which also makes it easier to monitor our exports and imports through the Nakala Corridor. In addition, the project will meet all the costs of the resettlement action plan to be agreed with government of Malawi, which includes replacement of public infrastructure that may be disturbed during the construction of the railway line. These costs include compensation for property and crops that would have been affected and the relocation of people where applicable. Once the railway line is up and running, the Malawi government will earn 8 million US dollars per year from concession fees. It is not enough that the government earns money from the line. It is important that it benefits the communities that it runs through. As well as creating jobs, the railway line will provide the region with improved transport links. This landmark development reaffirms the Joint Banders administration's resolve to make sure that the economic recovery plan is a success. As one of the five priority areas, the larger objective is to raise the standard of living for Malawians through multiple infrastructure investments to ensure access to markets for farmers and producers of goods and services.